If you experience a paper jam on your mid-size Ricoh multifunction device, you will immediately get a pop-up on the screen showing you exactly where to look and walking you through the jam removal process. I will walk you through the three main areas for a paper jam. On the right hand side of the machine you will find a lever that you will lift up to expand the whole right side of the machine. Depending on what model you have, the configuration will look a little differently. Um, but be sure to look for any blue labels, which will be lab labeled with letters and uh, numbers, and these will guide you to the misfeed. You may even have a blue lever in the middle that you can move back and forth like a ratchet to turn the rollers to push the paper out. You may also have a small panel up here. And if you have two lower paper trays, you will also have a small panel down at the bottom. If you experience a misfeed in the finisher area where the stapling and sort sorting happen, um, it, you may have to start from here. This is just a travel path for the paper to get into the finisher, so you may have to lift up on these. Otherwise, you have a front panel on the finisher. Now, this one is about as complicated as you might have. This is a booklet finisher, but yours may be quite a bit simpler than this. Any of these blue areas move around, and they're all number and letter coded. This one even pulls out to gain access, but yours may not. <coughs> The staples, while we're in here, are labeled in green. You may have one or two areas for the staples. So here's your booklet staples, and here's your regular corner staple unit. This model also has a hole punch unit, and here is where the hole punches are collected, so you may get an indication to um, dump those. 